I'm Lauren Coleman, L-O-R-E-N-C-O-L-E-M-A-N. Lauren Coleman happens to be the founder and director of the International Cryptozoology Museum. There are some sightings in the East, and Maine is part of the East, but I really see Maine as part of Canada in many ways. The arboreal forest that goes across the southern tier of Canada has more to do with the sightings of, of Bigfoot type creatures in Maine. And in general, the whole Eastern Bigfoot uh, phenomena really is based on the Wendigo, which the Algonquin Indian language system gives us a word, Wendigo, for these creatures that are often seen. I'm not sure there's that many Wendigo or Eastern Bigfoot that still survive in Maine. I think it's maybe some migration into the territory, or it actually could be some memories, ancestral memories. Uh, Michelle Solier is writing a new book called Bigfoot in Maine. I just did the introduction the other day and really encompassed the whole notion that there are Bigfoot reports here, that they're active. But what is much more interesting is the depth of the history. Uh, lots of historical accounts, lots of uh, interactions by hunters during the 18th century who were here looking for moose, looking for their trophy animals, and they would run across Bigfoot. And then you go further back and the Micmac in Canada and the Micmac in in Maine, as well as the Penobscot, the Passamaguady, and the Maliseet, all had traditions that used different tribal names to really talk about Bigfoot-type creatures.